Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And today I do have the pleasure to present you two watches coming from Union Glashütte. It is the Johannes Durstein Edition Moonface on your left side and the Johannes Durstein Edition Chronograph on the right side. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Let's make it a good tradition and let me also start this video with some first pictures of the two watches in different light conditions. To start my presentation, I'll pick one and that's the Johannes Durstein edition moon face watch. So this is a steel case. I will give you some uh, general information first. It's a steel case, uh, 41 uh, millimeters. The thickness of the watch is 12.23 uh, millimeters. You can see it. And the so-called lug uh, to lug distance from the end to the other end, lug to lug, is 50 millimeters. So, well, I have also been weighing the watches to give you an, uh, an idea how camera, it, this one weighs 94 grams, 94 grams, also including the strap and the folding clasp. Good, let's come to the dial of the watch. You see a bright white dial. Yes, this is an enameled dial. It is not full enameled, but covered with enamel, but delivers end of the day the same type of surface that a nice bright white shining surface. And it is exactly what you see here. This is a watch featuring a day month indication so we have the day and the month the date is being shown through a hand operating uh, out of the center of the watch with that half moon you see it is now showing the seventh and it will turn around and restart of course at the first here this is not a perpetual or annual calendar so all the corrections of all deviations 30 31st etc 28 29 whatever it is you have to do it by hand so the watch has no memory no mechanical memory and cannot distinguish any length of the month then the watch features a moon phase indication there is a moon a little bit difficult to see because um it is uh, yeah the white dial gives there you see it when i make some reflections with my uh, pointer uh, with the with the, my uh, plastic pointer, you can see it. Here's the moon face. It's a little bit difficult to film since the white is so bright that the camera dims down everything that is not white. And uh, it's a bit difficult also to show you that these hands that you see in the picture are not black. Of course, they're blue. So they're blued. Um, this is a golden hand. So this is golden. This, the, the hour hand, the minute hand, is blued, as well as the running second uh, being shown at nine o'clock is also golden and the 24 hour indication showing 10 o'clock and not 10 o'clock in the evening, 10 p.m. So it's 10 a.m. clearly because if it would be 10 p.m. so the hand would show to 22 and not to 10. Something you might also have already been recognizing is the fact that the watch has a some meaningful things written on the dial, but they are in German. So uh, those of you who don't speak German here, it's written Mondphase, meaning moon phase, as well as here it's written Handaufzug, uh, meaning hand wound. Why are these indications as well as, uh, I'm sure you noticed this already, I will get closer in the camera so you can see it. Here we do have the month December, like, uh, it's German, December, and we do have a Don for Donnerstag. So this is really, uh, everything is done in German. That's done by purpose because these watches 
I'm showing you today the Johannes Durstein edition is a tribute to the founder of the company of Union Glashütte. So clearly the uh, design elements has been taken from old pocket watches, from old watches the company has been manufacturing many many years ago and the design is being inspired by those watches and since it is a tribute to the founder they stayed in German as the company normally does when it makes uh, any uh, descriptions on the dial etc. So you always will find Union Glashütte displaying and showing the things in German. That's a nice thing. So let me then show you quickly how you are adjusting um, the time and uh, the uh, moon phase etc. The crown has uh, two positions. The first position I am in now will start turning the central hand that shows the date and you can see me now uh, advancing now please do concentrate on december this is where i show the month the december once i come up here you will see jan for january so let me continue here and now you will see it's january and when i go on my little journey you have February for February, then you have März for March, and so on, and so on, and so on. The crown in the other direction is setting the moon phase. Um, now you see here's the moon. Yeah, once again, it's a little bit difficult to get the uh, reflection I need to be able to show you the moon phase um, in a way that you can follow that what I'm doing. Forgive me that I do have this stripe now in your, in your picture. Forgive me please, uh, but this is the only way how I can really show you that there is a moon phase and that there is something going on if I'm really turning. You see, if I turn, yeah, there we go. And you see that the moon phase has of course two moons and when one disappears the other one comes out for new moon and then displays full moon again as it does now but uh, I need definitely some reflections of the light to show the moon face and this is not just the cause of a bad cameraman it is also when I see it with my eyes it's the same I need some reflections to show you what's happening on the dial otherwise I can't even see it with my eyes so this was the moon phase and last but not least if you want to adjust um, the day you need a, a pointer and then you have this push piece integrated and then you can see I am now playing around with the date and a Mittwoch for Wednesday then Donnerstag, Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag, Montag, Dienstag and Mittwoch again so these were uh, for those who want to learn some German <laughs> during my presentation. These were the weekdays in German. Well, um, there we go. The second watch is the Johannes Durstein edition chronograph. Yes, clearly to see that's a chronograph with a typical face of a Valju 7753. We do also change and uh, have a push piece at position at 10 o'clock to change the date. So, uh, of course, it is not the 7753 as we used to know it. It is, has been modified, modernized, and as you will discover it just in a moment, these movements have been specifically made for Union Glashütte from Etas. But the basis of this is, of course, the typical 9, 3, and 6 o'clock um, design of the counters and sub-counters. So the basis is a Valju 7753. So let me start. As I just said, sub-counters. Yes, here is the 30-minute counter of the chronograph. This is the 12-hour counter of the chronograph. Integrated is the date, white date disc, matching the color of the dial, of course. And on position of 9 o'clock, we do have the running second central second hand and um, the same applies uh, to what applied uh, to the edition moon phase that's also an enamel dial but not fully enameled but it has an enameled surface to bring this bright shining white effect 
for you and this gorgeous surface so it is a surface uh, created on a classical material uh, which out the dies are manufactured. The same applies also for what has been written on the dial, German, German, German. Since there are no months and uh, days to display, um, we do have here once again written Handaufzug. You know that already. Um, Handaufzug means hand wound, and here is been has been written Chronograph. That's more an international work. Still Chronograph as it is written in German. The design also, because this chronograph is as the edition Moon Phase, a tribute to the founder of the company, Johannes Durstein. So also lots of design components are, have been taken from pocket watches and from historical watches of the brand. In case you're not aware about uh, the history of Union Glass City, please check the description of the video. In the description, I did post some information about the history and the past of Union Glashütte. Yeah, there we go. Um, I did not yet give you, of course, the dimensions. The dimension is a 42 millimeter case, 42 millimeter. The thickness of this case is a little bit more than the moon face. So we do have 14.23 millimeters, 14.23 millimeters. And the so-called lug to lug distance is the same with 50 millimeters. So we do also have a 50 millimeter lug to lug distance. The chronograph has a weight of 108 grams, 108 grams, including strap, of course, and a folding clasp. And to just show the addition moon face in the camera. It's a bit lighter, 94 grams. Um, oh, don't let me forget to say, of course, both cases are waterproof 100 meters. To change uh, the date, uh, we all know that there is this integrated push piece always at 10 o'clock and when you push on it, and you can clearly see, then the date is changing. So we are going through, now I will quickly run through until the 8 again. So, but this is how you change the date with this movement. The little push piece is fully integrated into the case, does not disturb and it does not change anything. The case is waterproof 100 meters as I just mentioned before. So I've been turning around uh, the edition moon phase and now comes the fun part, the interesting part of this video. Please take some time to either watch and see the movement uh, on, under the artificial light here in my little studio and with all the other pictures I've been taking too whilst I'm quickly telling you a, a little story about what you see here in the picture. Union Glashütte is based in Glashütte in Germany. There in the little village where Union Glashütte is manufacturing the watches, you also find A Lange und Söhne, you find Nomos, you find Glashütte Original, you find the Tutima and others. So it is the village in Germany where the watches are made and Union Glashütte is based there, but since it is a sister company of the Swatch Group in Switzerland, the movements are manufactured for Union Glashütte in Switzerland and they are done by ETA. ETA is no longer just a manufacturer, a mass manufacturer of movements. No, 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 no. This has changed, totally changed. ETA today is delivering to the brands of the group movements they want to have. And this is a special modification and you probably would not have recognized it because it is really, you have to look twice what basis this movement has. It is called UN, uh, UNG 58.S1, but this does not say anything. This is just uh, a number given from a new Glashütte. But the basis of the movement you see here is the Valjou 7751 chronograph movement. And this is not a chronograph, but 
You have seen it on the other side already that the watch features the day and month indication and how the date is displayed through the central hand. Yes, this reminds us about those chronographs using the 7751 movement. This is also an automatic movement, the 7751. This is an hand wound movement now you see on your picture. But what happened? They took, and now please watch carefully. Can you see this? This is what they call a so-called free quarter plate, free quarter plate. And this is a typical, um, typical design feature of the movements that had been and still are manufactured in glass hütte. So the pocket watches feature those free quarter plates. You clearly see them and these wheels you see here belong to the winding of the watch. So if I will show you this afterwards, when you turn the crown, um, the wheels turn and they deliver the energy coming from the crown to the barrel. So this is a free quarter plate and the Valju 7751 has been transformed to get this special look. This has been artificially been done. There is no use of doing it. So the, you know that there is the, the wheels and the gear trains are there already. This has been created to really um, deliver this look of those free quarter plates. And on top, the movement has been improved in terms of quality. Now delivers 60 hours of power reserve, 60 hours of power reserve. And as you can see here, please watch again. There is written S and this means silicon. So the escapement features a silicon hairspring. So this is to improve quality, to improve stability in terms of magnetic fields. So this is really what today is what ETA is able to do. So the brands, all the brands of Swatch Group, they may use specified designed movements for them. And this is one good example of what ETA is able to do. And believe me, the quality, what you get here for what you pay is, you cannot do better. It's unparalleled and you will not find anyone else or anything or any other company doing something comparable in the same quality level with the same um, background as you see it here. The two wheels are mirror polished. The two wheels here on the three quarter plate are mirror polished. So this is why I, you do see the reflection of uh, the, the mirror of my glove. And it is good because then you can see how the wheels are turning. And you will clearly see this when I'm turning the crown. Now you see it. The wheels are turning. And this is exactly what happens when you wind the watch. And this is the way the energy coming from the crown from me winding the watch is been delivered through the two wheels to the barrel of this movement. There you go. These are the wheels. And as you can see, they are mirror polished. Yes, a little bit difficult to film. This is also the reason why I choose this angle of showing you this. So the same applies here, but I've just been talking you through with uh, the um, moon phase edition with the Valju 7751. The basis here is a Valju 7753 and it's the same here. ETA designed for Union Glashütte this movement. They took away the uh, central rotor. So the, you can clearly see, please watch my pointer. Normally there would be a winding rotor, but there is no winding rotor here. And we can also clearly see the chronograph central wheel. You never see this wheel because it is covered by the rotor normally. And this is a 7753 as a basis. Also, you can here see the S, look at the pointer, look at the pictures. S is also equipped with a silicon balance spring or a silicon hairspring. So also this movement features the best of what you can get from ETA. No one else will deliver such a quality in such a perfect finish for that money. And I, I also want to explain to you that ETA is delivering the entire movement as a kit, completely as a kit to Union Glashütte. And it is in Glashütte where the entire movement is decorated. So the entire decoration of all the different parts is being done, the perlage the stripe uh, decorations, the glass hütte stripes, etc., etc. So everything is done in glass hütte and the entire assembly of the parts is done. The regulation of the movement is also done. So it is completely put together and uh, decorated in glass hütte. But the spare parts, the completely kit comes from Switzerland and is, yes, as I just said, a special designed movement for Union Glashütte from ETA from the 
manufacturer that belongs to the Swatch Group who is able and to manufacture such movements in such an incredible quality and also able to transform existing movements um, for its for the brands of the group and as you saw before the free quarter plate is one example and this chronograph is also an example they wanted to have a hand wound chronograph so they said okay let's take away or take off the automatic movement the, the move the, the entire case gets slimmer of course without it and you have more visibility on the different parts of the chronograph and it's a much more nicer view you get on the mechanics of the chronograph The watch has come with a nice black leather strap as you can see here and yes it is even written handgefertigt in Deutschland meaning manufactured by hand in Germany and echt leather means that it is real leather. There you have it handgefertigt in Deutschland echt leather. This is how it looks here you do have the logo of Union Glashütte and to show you a little difference the chronograph has a different look but it's still the same also here it's written Hand gefertigt in Deutschland echt Leder so now um, you already see the double folding clasp. So this is uh, a, let's say, a pretty uh, tough engineered thing. <laughs> Not to say over engineered because you can you close it, open it and close it this way. There you go. This is how it looks like. You open it again. You have to press on both sides as always to open it. But why did I say over engineered? This is um, the way how you adjust the length of uh, the strap. You need to insert it here and to be able to do this there is they there is that little thing you have to open here. So this is it opens and then you slide in the letter strap. You slide it in. You close it. You see I have been closing it here. Now it's closed. And then you one, two, and you close it. And yeah, this is, yeah, I have to uh, slide in here first, you see, and then I close it and there it is done. Looks nice. Uh, for me, this is a little bit over engineered, I would say. They could have done it in a yeah, more easy way, would have also been fine. And it's quite thick, look. So it's quite a, a, a bulky thing you have um, um, on your hand and uh, yep. I would have preferred a simple pin buckle but yes that's me you know that and uh, it's up to you. Uh, yeah write me in the comment section do you like those let's say uh, over engineered uh, folding clasps or do you don't like them just uh, yeah quick note in the comment section would be interesting to see if you share my thoughts. Look a bit thick I don't know what you say but yeah could be slimmer, could be more easy. Yeah, pin buckle could do it probably. <laughs> Tell me, please.
On your left side, uh, the edition Moonface. So guess now, please, what do you think this watch costs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Okay, no, too much, too much, no, less. Okay, 2,750 euro. And this uh, chronograph is sold for 2,900 euro. So if you think about buying a watch, Having such a look, featuring such a look with a bright white dial, um, design-wise taking lots of elements from historical pocket watches from the past, featuring um, different indications as day, month, moon phase or just chronograph and you think yourself, okay, I'm looking for such a watch, please. You cannot choose any other watch before you have seen the Union Glass. You have to see it. I know it's pretty difficult sometimes, depending on where you live, to find Union Glashütte because the distribution is not worldwide yet, but I'm more than happy to help you. If you want to get uh, um, those watches or if you're interested in those watches, please shoot me an email, alexander at watchadvisor.com. I will pass it on to the Swatch Group and they will take care as good as they can so you can probably get hands on the watches. Um, but what I wanted to say is, Considering what you get quality-wise, the case is 100 meter waterproof, silicon balance or hairspring, incredible quality, incredible design, leather strap, folding clasps. The entire thing, 2,750, 2,900 euros. This is incredible. And really, I highly recommend you compare this to any other brand from any other company in the same price range, of course, same price range. We're talking about the same price range. I don't talk about watches that are more expensive or are done uh, from uh, companies that are not operating in the same price range, but compare. And I guarantee you, and I guarantee you, that these watches are the best one you can get. There is no doubt this is really a super aggressive price positioning coming from Swatch Group, and you really get Value, value, value for your money, incredible value, good design, and yes, a cool watch in the end. Nothing less and nothing more. Okay, I'm now curious to get um, your feedback and your comments on the watches. Please uh, use the comment sections as always. As I told you, um, if you have questions about uh, how to get hands on, uh, an email alexander at watchadvisor.com and I will do my best to help you. Um, and yeah. Otherwise, <clears throat> thank you now for watching the video. Stay safe and sound and be sure to come back soon because we have lots of videos in the pipeline waiting for you. Bye-bye.